and I'm a part of the cast, production, know my mind, that's the production team, but the actual title of the play is called So You Think I'm Crazy. It's basically based around a lot of issues to do with mental health, the causes of it, the background information of it, and the strains and struggles that families could go through with someone suffering from mental health. It's a very interesting play to come and watch. Um, I advise you to come and watch it and get a feel about what mental health is about. And I also would like people to come along for Black History Month and represent. Um, we're having a performance on the 10th of October, which is going to be in the Morsey Hospital. And we also have another performance, um, which is going to be in the Albany Theatre. That's up and coming as well. So a lot of exciting times ahead. And we've also previously done a performance on the 24th of May previously. So you can actually go online and YouTube that. There's a lovely little clip on YouTube. So you can get to grips and see exactly what No My Mind is about. So you think I'm crazy? Come and have a look. And I am the director and writer of a script called So You Think I'm Crazy. Um, so You Think I'm Crazy came about uh, from a personal experience of caring for a member of my family who had mental health problems. And um, also came from a carers group where we got a lot of, a lot of people's experience. Um, so You Think I'm Crazy started at, um, the first launch was on the 24th of May. Um, at first, it was going to be just a little, um, a, a, a small play in relationship of a church hall. It's actually escalated and it's really evolved and it's now a full production professional um, outfit of professional actors and actresses. Um, we've done, by popular demand, we have done two other programmes of performances in, in Croydon and we are about to do some other ones for Black History Month and World Mental Health Day. The World Mental Health Day is going to be performed at Morsley Hospital on the 10th of October. And then we have the Lost Theatre, which is going to be on the 17th of October. And then for Black History Month, it's the 27th of October at the David Lean Cinema. I think the reason why we want to perform this in the first place, the objective is, is to raise the issues of mental health. Mental health is something that happens in one and four in a family. Nobody talks about it, particularly our black community. When you go to psychiatric services, we are disproportionately represented. It is young black men and now women that are filling up our mental health services. We need to talk about it, we need to address it. We need to not shy away from it, we need to lift the head of it, it almost like opening up Pandora's box. Um, we do not compromise on this play, it's in your face. So if you really want to understand some of the issues, please come to one of our performances. It's called So You Think I'm Crazy and we'd love to see you. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Know My Mind through Facebook. You can also email us on knowmymind at yahoo.co.uk. One of the things um, about the play is, is that um, it talks about some of the social issues also that people don't really want to talk about. For instance, um, it was quite difficult when I was deciding to write the play, is how am I going to depict somebody that is out of control in terms of mental health issues. So what I did is that I focused on issues that could tip anybody over the edge. And those issues were sexual abuse, domestic violence, stop and search, um, all of those social things in relationship to what could really make you uh, very, very stressed out. Um, the play is unique in that it, we have several mediums that we use to convey the message. We use drama, we use rap and we use poetry and obviously we use monologues. So the, um, the cast are very committed, um, they're, they're all with integrity. We haven't been able to pay any of the cast members. Um, they are coming because they really believe in the issues. And so basically what we have to do, because they're very good at what they do, and very good at executing the story, is that we have to have debriefing sessions after the rehearsal. Because there's a fine line about acting about mental health and actually getting into the reality of your own mental health. So we take it very, very seriously and we make sure that we support the staff, the cast as much as we possibly can. 
by offering them counselling and offering them a debriefing after their rehearsals. The other um, productions that we've actually done, uh, besides doing the live performances, is that we've, um, we've, we've documented a report that it's called Tell It Like It Is, Mental Health in Our Community, and it's also called Opening Pandora's Box. Um, we wanted to capture um, the carer's perspective of what it was like when they live with their loved ones who have had mental health problems. We also wanted to catch the service user's perspective, the very people that have got the mental health problems. And sometimes they get lost with, uh, in academic research and they don't really get an opportunity to express themselves. Well, this is the expression of carers and service users about their story. It's five pounds, it's very cheap, but if people want to raise their level of awareness of what the issues are, then I suggest you read this book. We've called it Opening Up Pandora's Box because that's what it felt like. You, you delve right deep and you don't know what's going to come out. We also said it's by the experts, and that's because the carers are the experts. It's raw, it's painful, it's powerful, and it should be read by everybody. Thank you. Goodbye.